hero's journey. So a hero's journey is the common template of stories that involve a hero who goes on an adventure and then is victorious in a decisive crisis and then comes home changed or transformed. Now there's four parts to the hero's journey. There's the call to adventure, there's the supreme ordeal or the initiation, there's the unification or transformation, and then there's the road back or the hero's return. Now within those four parts, you have 12 components. Um, this kind of looks like a clock, and that's important for you to know because on Friday, you'll do an activity, and the template is basically like a clock, okay? So each part um, is a different component of the hero's journey, and I'll go over all 12. You notice there's 12? I'll go over all of them. Hardwired deep into our consciousness. 
Maybe that is why the books I love most and the movies I find myself watching over and over again always have a hero that goes on an adventure, faces obstacles and challenges, and returns home transformed. It is the story of innocence transformed into maturity. Well, it's time to get back to Star Wars. Thank you for watching, and please click the link to subscribe. Alfred. See, now my next class, I should pretend I know. 
<laughs> See, because my first period, I couldn't remember uh, Spider-Man's name. Then they told me, and so today, in this class period, I pretended I knew it. <laughs> All right, number 10, Rose back. With a mentor by his side, and armed with the experiences and rewards of all his trials till this point, the hero makes his way back to his original point. Number 11, the resurrection of the hero. At long last, it's time to face the final monster. Now by monster, it doesn't literally have to be a monster, although it could. Um, it could just be like a challenge or this moral dilemma that the hero's facing. Uh, the focus on this part of the story is on how the hero deals with this last battle using everything he's got. This is an important part of the development of his character. Number 12, return. Transformed from the adventure, the hero finally returns to his ordinary world and implement everything he's learned on the way. Alfred. 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 We're getting close. Alfred. Leo. Yes, ma'am. Stop it. So back to the call to adventure. Our next unit that we're going to start on when when we come back from this asynchronous day, Friday and Monday. Um, it focuses on the call to adventure, which is why we're doing this. It's kind of like an introduction um, to, our number, to our second unit. The call to adventure is the stage where the problem is introduced. The hero could either be seeking something out for personal benefit or could face a challenge that forces him or her, the hero doesn't have to be a boy, uh, to leave his or her comfort zone and embark on the hero's journey. For example, the Lion King. Simba's call to adventure in The Lion King is probably the most heartbreaking. It is when Scar kills Mufasa and banishes Simba from the Pride Lands that our little hero faces his challenge. What challenge is he facing after he's banished from the Pride Lands? He's lonely. He's lonely? Surviving, yes, yeah, surviving. He, but he is by himself, right? And he tries to survive on his own. Oh, he has that pig. <laughs> that pig, let's get it right. That one is Pumbaa. That one I do know the name. All right, and Timon. Um, <laughs> but yes, he has them who helps him, right? So those would be his who? A crew or a mentor? His mentors or his allies, right? Those are the ones that help him. I'm going to skip that. All right, so the nightmare before Christmas. So. I'm going to pass out this handout. Now, as you're watching the movie, we're going to be filling out these questions. We are going to submit this um, before, you, or Zoom people will submit it. You guys will turn it in before you leave. But the questions focus on the hero's journey. It's not so much like, you know, who, who is the character or what does Jack say to Sally? Now, this it's more about the hero's journey. So if you look at question number two, it says, describe your hero's call to adventure. Uh, number three says, describe how your hero crosses the threshold. So again, it does focus on those components of the hero's journey. If you forget what the call to adventure is or what the threshold is, I did add the explanation right next to the question in parentheses. Yes? Yes. All right. 